must say, I really do like the threat mechanic, honestly. Such a natural limiter to what you can do. At some point, the game's just going to stop there. Plus, I enjoy that we have Leon, who has pretty much the same lion as we do on our crest. Lovely stuff. Oh, we have a bastard son. We'll acknowledge him. But he'll be disbarred from... Oh. He's an imbecile. So one is slow and the other is an imbecile. Our imbecile bastard. He will, he will be... I think... I think he'll be sent to take the vows at some point. I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's try again for a prosperous realm, but there's this crusade coming up. Maybe we can teach him another virtue. No, we can't right now. Can we do it to the other one? Like, does it run out? Hmm. <coughs> 200 days, so we will be ready attack Fatimid Egypt. I wish with the defensive pack thing that not everyone just kind of jumps on it. But rather if you keep attacking Muslims, the Muslims go into a defensive pact and stuff like that. I would prefer that. But it makes sense that after a while everyone is just going to be well guy. Oh lovely we become humble. We are a virtuous one, aren't we? It's not a single sinful thing about us. And since we are about to go to war, let us discuss military strategy, increasing our military. 130 days. Can we carouse before? Can we manage it? Try. I really want to teach him another virtue. Does not have the opinion taught a virtue. So it must be here somewhere. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I know where it must be. It must be in our opinion of his. No idea. But I think it resets because we can't teach our son a virtue and I believe we have done this before. Alright, we're 100 days out, time to raise our armies. And I think it'll be a pure levy thing Stand on these 
levies of our own counties we stand down for the most part and the ones that don't immediately have a ship next to them except for when they're this prominently huge Where should we gather our fleet? Honestly, probably right here. Why not? All the ships that can go already will go already. Leaf is sending them there. This can go. Not sending anyone to get on these ships and send these as well. We're leading armies up there. Lovely. Ah, oh, yeah, right. We have the armies of Leon as well now. You guys definitely can go south already. So we'll see how many fleets are set in motion. These guys can go already. Now realistically speaking, it's better to send all your troops in several fleets rather than all in one. Because shipwrecks aren't fun. And if your whole army gets taken out by a storm, which has happened historically, that's kind of a setback. Lots of the time. We're just scanning the horizon so we don't forget anyone. But it looks like we have gathered most of them. Not all, but most. I don't need some random... I, I really need to dig into the favor system more. Maybe use it... Once or twice since it was introduced, probably more, but uh, I don't I don't care enough to really figure out the, the benefits of it. To me it just kinda throws stones into my perfectly oiled machinery most of the time, so not too keen on it. For some reason this this one barony here does not have this modifier from the mercenary band. Interesting to me. Yes, yeah, so our troops are up very long, I understand. Very annoying to everyone. A stone hand chev, even. Nothing, but... Not active. How do we activate it? 
How do we activate? Oh, it must be pagan, otherwise it's just kind of there. So we could just loot it. Very good, we get to do our party before stuff kicks off in the south. want to wait for everyone to arrive all right 20,000 sounds good sounds good let's set them down right here all right there Good stuff. Now we don't want to lead. We want to be on a flank here. Center leader can't lead center because we need the siege guy on the side. Center. As you pass through Ad Taquila, come across a small group of Coptics. They happily re receive us as long lost brothers and sisters and give us a place to sleep and rest for the night. Let me help you spread your faith. We could spend a bunch of money to turn this into a Miaphysite county. Or we take this guy back. Our court. Take him back to our court. There are some death stacks running around. But the Crusader armies are shaping up now. Ours being the single most prominent, while the others are generally smaller. Coming together. On aggression packed with. Sure. Don't care. <gasps> A revolt! Gasp! Let us take care of it. This is why you don't send everyone off on crusading business. Speaking of crusading business, clicking all the wrong things. Our son, not yet a crusader. I think he should get that. Uh, or where's our son? Come on for a second. Come on here for a second. Should give him Crusader. There we go. Back to doing your job, please. Our beneficiary is dead? No. Oh, it's Skelg. Our nephew. And our guy gets all the things. Except for all the gold and prestige and stuff that we keep. Our son 
will want back on his job, perform statecraft. We've given him what we wanted to give him. It also doesn't need to be good man anymore. Let's put him this guy. He can be a crusader as well. Should we take the Degel of Degel of Glory? Yeah. That's a bit cruel. That's just fine by us. Money and a dagger. Stand down our troops here. Dab these up. Quite costly in terms of upkeep, but do what you gotta do. And we go from the top down to the bottom again. Our command was taken from us. Oh well. Fine. So who else needs to become a crusader of our commanders? This guy ain't a crusader yet. <clears throat> He's a crusader now. Alright, let's become friends with Count of Sevede. Probably somewhere in Sweden or something. Right, we have another commander that could become Crusader. This man, yes. Let's make every commander we have to be a Crusader. That's a good trait to have. Really good trait to have. Your armies. Probably nah. Uh, thinking for a second to maybe look for more commanders while we're here. Because we have a few very low guild commanders that we could probably replace with better ones. Also make them crusaders. After hearing about a wise man in a local area, we decide to go visit him and see what he has to offer. He starts talking about ephemeral concepts that sound like blasphemy, but I tell my men to go outside so I can hear what he has to offer. We'll learn it. Blasphemous must die, but libraries contain knowledge. a few more let's see let's replace a few low skill commanders like this guy a 23 court chaplain who will never see combat shame Don't have any stop levies there where we could put a commander there. Didn't bring our retinue. I'll have to do it like this. Just for a moment so they become traders. So they have. Siege master go siege. And this guy can stay outside. So far. They have only won one battle. Where are they huge armies? Maybe they died all to attrition. 
not a very welcoming area for, for life. All right, we say it was victorious, and thus we can bring back our troops and our nephew has indeed wait no okay all right our nephew became this but our beneficiary became some duke down here somewhere there there there's our beneficiary I mean this is firmly in the hand of our dynasty now that's that's pretty cool all right we don't have to send our troops so far anymore England we now have some holdings here did this help our threat now on what did we get into our treasury the dagger of glory which no we don't really need. got a weeping statue this is definitely neat plus five percent national tax I'll take it are we still writing a book no we're done I think we wrote this warfare. Okay. Yeah. Born of a Saint Valentine of Rome. Eh. Not too great. Need some land over here. This kingdom of Valencia. I really like that this is all dynastic now. All Ingling. I like that. That's fun. I wish it would matter more. Really wish it would matter more. Maybe it does in the next one. Let's stand on our troops and our ships. I suppose there's still this stuff going on. Yeah. Wonder how these one tile kingdoms survive it's really interesting to me right we have a whole lot of gold to spend could build ourselves another keep or we just upgrade the ones that we have let's upgrade the ones we have i always kind of let the the ones that are not in our core county fall off the roadside. I just do not get that same kind of attention. It is in the end quite a shame. You want us to build a church somewhere. Let's build a church, why not? We can do that. Actually, let's build another city here. What can we need now? All talk. And off to carousing we go again.
on teacher virtue he's having a whole lot of kids and not all of them are half bad our lover is pregnant again how old is she 29 Oh yeah, we can store a relic now. All right. Can store a relic. Okay, you, you you trade them in basically for some piety. That's not nearly as cool as I thought it would be. We could build us some gargoyles, stained glass of windows, or a torture chamber. Gives a whole lot of stuff to do. Oh, I like levy size. We'll build the levy size one. Always a good one. All right, and that was this crusade, bringing forth the Yingling, and we are two. Rebellions out from being done with this monarch's journey. It has been so far a very uh, Smooth ride honestly we've had more difficulties in the past with different ones But it just goes to show you how Comparatively easy it is to play in the north as compared to somewhere in Central Europe or even somewhere over here <laughs> 